Well, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and uh, this is one of those uh, snowball effects um, where I have one project, the Pip Boy 3000. Uh, its solution to a problem ended up being a suitable solution to a problem in another project, my B9, um, and so. What I wanted to do was rather than just focus on the one element, I thought I'd do a kind of a maybe a premature kickoff video of upgrading the old boy. Uh, there's a lot of things that um, I had done with this when I built it, uh, was it been about six years ago, maybe seven years ago, that were compromises because, well, only so much space and uh, could only find uh, certain parts that uh, would um, uh, allow me to do what I wanted to do and always kind of felt as if the old boy wasn't complete. Um, one of the things that I wanted to finish off were the track covers. Uh, I had them out purposely as I got comfortable with the track drive, but it's become reliable enough to where now I want to trim the um, little, uh, all right, oops, that one's going to be a stinker, okay, the little uh, posts, get out of there, that I used to allow these things to go on and off. Um, I just need to trim them down and bring that in, um, because this doesn't wander as much as I thought it would. I may still end up doing something similar here on these bearings up here, again, to keep everything confined, but it doesn't seem to walk, <clears throat> so um, a problem I don't think uh, really materialized, um, and so I'm not going to uh, worry about it, at least ways not right now. I hope that made sense. Um, I do these videos off the top of my head because I hate doing them. Uh, they're just necessary. Uh, for the threads, because there's only so much you can write down in text. So anyways, um, what a, a couple of other things that uh, I wanted to focus on is the, no well, let's power the, let's power the guy up here. Um, uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm going to get in the way here. Because even though I do have the delay set, I don't want to be touching the torso when I make contact. Let's take off the glasses too. Oops, maybe I'm better off with the glasses on. Come on. There we go. Who turned on the lights? Now I remember. Which way did they go, partner? Alright. Never want to be touching the torso as it's trying to move. So I get a little bit very putting in the power pack. But anyways, one of the things that I've uh, disliked is the noise that the crown motor makes. Um, uh, I'm going to do away with the gear drive and put a stepper motor in there. If I can get this apart without without breaking anything in here, I glued it up and I shouldn't have. Um, uh, but it makes a fair amount of noise and I don't think... You're probably suffering a guilty it's conscience. thought that was going to be... I thought that was going to be the, the volume for the um, clicks and pops. Uh, it's on the remote somewhere, I, 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 I forgot, but that's another thing that um, I want to uh, replace. The wave file player, which was um, from Big Dog uh, in Canada, is a greeting card uh, player that was about the best thing available at the time because it allowed me to have uh, individual tracks that I could control uh, easily. Most MP3 players at the time didn't give you that without a fancy menu and all that stuff uh, that you had to look at. Um, uh, and, and I didn't want that. I wanted something simple. So I did this, which I'm still using in the upgraded um, MP3 controller, but I'm using a different controller and we'll focus on that in a few minutes. But um, I want to I want to 
fix the lack of volume. You are probably suffering a guilty conscience. I'm referring to our last conversation when you insulted. A lot of that's because of the information. You must apologize. The speakers tucked way back in there, and these um, sound card players had a very weird uh, 32 ohm impedance on the speaker, which made the ability to get uh, tiny speakers like I have for the MP3 player um, for it, which um, ended up I could, but another problem was there's two card players in there and their amplifiers are such that I can't tie the outputs together because zero is half of the VCC voltage and you blow the amplifiers out if you try to tie any of the leads together. It's also a reason why you can't tie one of the leads to ground uh, as a common because it's not common. It's, it's half the line voltage or half the VCC and you're going to blow out the amplifier. So uh, I got away from that and I'm going to the uh, uh, the uh, um, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, the DF players. Uh, I'll, I'll pull those out in a minute and uh, show you. But I, I wanted to kind of do a quick walkthrough on the robot before I did. Um, pretty much everything else. I think I'm going to keep the same. Um, oh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the tracks. I I, I really hated. Let's uh, get him talking here. There we go. Um, never really liked the claw action. To me, that was just, uh, that was so hokey. Uh, you know, I was kind of, I kind of did that just to be funny. But I never really liked the way it looked. It just looked so, uh, I don't know, just didn't like it. So I'm going to show you uh, the replacements, uh, which um, I think uh, are a far better, um, far better uh, approach. Um, other than that, I'm happy with the torso again. Uh, it spins uh, without a problem. Um, I use a rotary joint, so there are no wires. Uh, it's 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 a rotating contact, which allows me to just let it spin continuously, uh, which is really nice. Uh, the chest buttons uh, here still uh, work right. I may want to get in there and change. See there, I I need to put a debounce. Uh, on that uh, because it does sometimes react uh, to the closure, the mechanical switches closure, and you end up with it uh, being a real pain in the ass as far as not wanting to stay off. So, um, oops. So, I am going to maybe clean up that circuit too. Um, I've got a chip that uh, you, know, you can see there. Yeah, there needs to be what's called a debounce, um, and I kind of got uh, uh, cheeky and decided just to use a uh, very simple flip flop without without any debounce. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see what else? Uh, you know, I know I'm going to forget um, because this is an ongoing rambling video. But let me let me pause here, I'll get this guy off the table and we'll focus on the two major upgrades um, for this guy and how the one upgrade was a product of the um, Pit Boys uh, rad meter uh, solution that uh, uh, I'm going to be using. So, hold on, we'll pause and I'll be right back.